I'm Rana Florida, director of the FIU Miami Creative City Initiative. We're here at the Urban Lab Studios to launch Create Miami, an ongoing discussion about creativity, city, and the arts. Art Basel is the perfect backdrop for this day's discussion about creativity in cities. It brings together not only internationally recognized art galleries and curators and artists, but also leading thinkers, city builders, and placemakers to talk about how to make our cities more livable. We have an amazing lineup of speakers today, including Grammy award-winning singer Nelly Furtado, internationally recognized designer Diabu Mpuschelberg, international curator Jerome Sanz, artist Kenny Sharp, urbanist Richard Florida, and several others. As we gather here, as you know, designers, makers, and creators uh, of art at, at Art Basel, uh, Miami has been transformed. So I've seen it over and over again, the artists, you know, keep moving into neighborhoods that they can afford, that no one else wants to be. Uh, because of their presence, they change the neighborhood, make it good enough to develop, and then the art gets kicked out. So it's just like the revolving story, where do you go next? We are inventing cities. It's not real estate people. They're always thinking they are making it. They are just signing checks on the back of creative people. Human creativity powers our economy. And human creativity is not an exclusive good. In fact, it's the most inclusive good. And so I think that is the, the shining ray of hope. Miami's a really interesting place to look at all of this from because it's an incredibly aspiring city. Just when you think it's finished growing, it keeps on growing and it becomes more rich. And then the art scene starts to um, balance out uh, what's going on economically, what's going on um, within other aspects of culture. I think cities are narratives. I think they're narratives of, of, of complexity, they're narratives of hope, they're narratives of tragedy. They're, cities in themselves are, are only are kind of our stories. And um, likewise, designs are narratives. That designs yeah. um, can also be those things that connect you. Miami edition is that you go there and it is a social center. It's a social center that isn't segmented into little parts where it transcends demographics. I think in a place that has exposure to a lot of different people, um, you start questioning yourself, your first reaction to designing. And through your mind, you go through a gazillion, gazillion ideas of how you approach it. And that's a really good thing. The biggest myth is that creativity is the province of individual genius. In fact, it's a social process. And cities, use, uh, cities offer us a platform to take our ideas and to combine and recombine. In our view, the actual thing that, that propagates really innovative cities' economies, tolerance, diversity, a melting pot, a mosaic, the ability to have people across the spectrum, welcome them in and fuse them to your community. Miami racks second. So I think one of our big missions here is to discuss how Miami can become a more full-blown creative economy, you know, because the key to economic success isn't to just have a creative elite. That doesn't work. You need to have a creative economy where really the creative talent, the creative abilities of every single person is tapped and harnessed. And, and that's really the, the that's really what's behind our, our Miami Creative City Initiative with our colleagues at FIU. 